Hello, students. Okay, we are getting right on with our rhetorical analysis. I love the way that you are taken step by step with each each part of this of this assignment. If you follow all of the guidelines and all the steps, you should have no problem turning in a good essay. So let's look at what you're going to be doing then. Okay, first off, you're going to be writing an introduction and thesis for your rhetorical analysis. And this tells you exactly what it is you're going to do. The introduction should give you the context for the piece of communication. Okay, and then one way is to give key details about the speaker and the situation. And another is just to describe the audience. And you're going to get an example of some, how somebody does this. And uh, you're going to go for there, go on from there. All right, so you're going to make sure, though, that the introduction is giving the context. And then, and, 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 and then you're going to make sure that you're going to have the last sentence of the first paragraph is going to be the thesis statement that is going to talk about the purpose, if it's effective or not effective, and make sure that you talk about the rhetorical appeals or strategies, because that's going to give us a roadmap for what you're going to be doing for the rest of the, of the essay. You t if you say you're going to talk about, about logos, ethos, and pathos, then you're going to mention those three in your roadmap. So make sure that you do that. Okay. And this gives you the idea of context these in all three state statements thoroughly. And then the introduction and thesis statement is one paragraph. Make sure it answers the three questions. Okay, so this can give you purpose, effective, rhetorical things. And you can use the worksheet that will tell you exactly how to do it. And this gives you this gives you an example. up. It gives you an example of how they wanted to do it. Okay, so what this does is it talks about this, this, the Lady Gaga part here talks about the, the context is what, you know, what, because they were graduating seniors and they, the, they were canceled and how they were feeling. And then she gives her thesis statement trust, calm tone, trust, faith, logos, pathos. Okay, see how she mentions all those things? That's a really good example. So that's the kind of thing that you're going to do with that. All righty, let's go on then. You're going to have a practice with in interpreting sources. Again, you're going to integrate, you've seen this before, the three I's, to integrate and interpret sources. And so you're not only going to do yours, show that you know how to introduce a quote and integrate it effectively, but you also are going to respond to, the tip, to your classmates. Make sure you do both. All righty. And you're going to learn a little bit more about Turnitin. Some of you had questions about it. And so this will give you a, 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 a quiz that will talk to you about the Turnitin idea, how to use the Turnitin. It's a very effective tool. Now, it mentions that you need to make sure that you uh, that you that you that whenever you use site, you also Whenever you put a source in, you also cite it. And it gives kind of the idea that you can use as much as you want to. I would suggest strongly that some of the essay needs to be yours. So you would not want to have 100%. I usually accept and have no problem with 15%. But I would say work at trying to get your essay to be 
15% other so outside sources and 85% yours. Work at that so that you'll be writing some of your own things. When it's a rhetorical analysis, it can go a little bit over the 15. Just make sure that you're citing it correctly. Now you're going to get your, your peer review in. Now, I can, if, you, if it's late, there's nothing I can do about it. It won't be able to be done because it's assigned by Canvas. And to everybody is assigned two essays to do the, rhetor to do the analysis of. So just make sure that you, are, that you have all of this part in here that your the audience, you're writing the essay for your instructor and classmates, purpose, to evaluate your chosen speech, tone, academic, analytical, and critical. It's going to have, again, you see that word, thesis. Okay. Has the purpose, a judgment, body paragraphs that provide quotes and examples, a conclusion, Summarizing the analysis, not the speech. Needs to be that many words. APA format. And look down here at the rubric, you guys. You get five points for turning it in and 15 points for it being the right length. Hey, that's not, that's pretty easy 15 points if you ask me. So make sure that when you review it, you're going to use the draft worksheet. Do all of that. Okay. Mark X if used. You've done this before. And okay, that's just about it. Now here's the draft. See? If you have any questions, you know you can ask me. Okay. And I think that, yep, you don't want to see that. So, all right, that's what you're doing this week. You're writing a rhetorical analysis. I usually find that it's a very good idea to do my very, very best on the draft, and then I only have to do a little bit of revising. If you just throw a bunch of stuff out there and don't follow the instructions, then you don't really have as good a chance of having a good essay as if you would write a really good essay for your draft and then get your input and do some minor, minor fixing. Okay, brothers and sisters, I hope that you are having an awesome week with no natural disasters and that everything is going well for you. You know that the Lord will help you through this, right? And so will I. So if you have any questions, just ask me. Now, if you need to do is if you still are not really clear on the rhetorical analysis, all you have to do is ask for a Zoom conference and we can go over it, all right? Okay. All right, you guys. Have a good week and bless. God bless. <laughs>